So this is what April rains uh, end up making Mud Creek look like. Really full. You can hear that water rolling. It's just it's just moving out right now. So uh, you can see the gates that are washed out across from underneath the bridge. That was the field across the way. So I just crossed the gate from my uh, west field and look what I found. Found my neighbor's cattle just sitting at the front of the field. Well, with the amount of rain that we've had, the neighbor accidentally left the gate open and with the amount of rain that we've had, it's been real hard to run them out of here. So I'm going to give it another shot and see if I can get them back into his uh, pasture. We'll see if they don't run into the tree line or something. Well, they can travel a lot faster than me with this wet ground that I have. I'm not going to bring a truck out here or anything because I will get stuck. You'll see my neighbor's truck. He came over to try to entice him with his feed truck and he got stuck. So. This field was terraced when we got it, and it just retains all kinds of water. It's great for growing grass and unfortunately weeds, but it really retains all the water. I'm not sure what the guy planted that had it before. Alright, see if we can keep pushing them that way. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what the family that owned this before pl uh, planted over here, but it was terraced for crops, and <clears throat> I think it had rye planted in the field a few years before we took it over, but... They seem to be moving slowly but surely. When you're walking the cattle or just following them with the truck, you don't want to get behind them directly and push them. You kind of want to get off to a, the edge of them if you can. <clears throat> Preferably a 45 degree angle at the back, but uh, since I can't keep up with them, I'm way farther back than that. But I'm not headed for them. You'll notice I'm walking a parallel line next to them. Now I'm going to have to get behind them. <clears throat> Got this muddy uh, creek area down here. 
runs off into Mud Creek. But it's a pretty muddy cross and pretty narrow, so I have to get behind them to <clears throat> keep moving them. Okay, he's really flowing. You're gonna <clears throat> I'm going to go through that outcrop right there. Head towards where I want him to head. And you'd think that I'd have him right where I want to. The problem is, is that outcrop is all along that terrace there. And I have to walk around that outcrop. The cows being thick, having thicker skin, they'll just go right through it. And while I have to walk around it, go backtrack and then I got to walk back around the outcrop to get on the other side and I'll just keep playing that game but I might get lucky since my cows are up where I want them to be I might just get lucky Oh man, that's not fun. Thanks guys. That's more than ankle deep. See Sonny and Annie? Annie's getting some food. All right, now you'll notice I'm going to walk, try to walk the parallel line to them. If I can't stay ahead of them or with them, that's going to be hard. This one's breaking out. There we go. Come on, follow him. Close this gate so that they don't backtrack. Mm. Ah. Stay there, boy. Ah. Hey, yeah, 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 cookie. I'm not feeding them, babe.
Alright, now I gotta get his cattle sequestered into his pen and then let my two head out of his pasture. So then I can close the gate back and we'll be good. So let's keep you up to date on earth. So we'll see how that goes. So my neighbor ran me back to the house. He's going to use his corral to cut my two cattle out of the bunch and get them back in the pasture. Anyways, that's how you, you round up cattle on foot. If you like the content of today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll know anytime we have a new video. Until next time, this is Eric with the Mud Creek Homestead. You have a good one.